So here now, these red tail squirrels are common throughout Trinidad and Tobago, several other Caribbean islands, South America and Central America. As I said, they are common, you can find them everywhere, from deep forests to cities like Port of Spain. And one of the funny things in my opinion is that some Trinbagonians told me they have never seen a red tail squirrel. And so, here it is, a video showing you the red tail squirrel in its natural habitat. So the red tail squirrel is a small mammal, a rodent to be precise, and their diet varies. They feed on anything like fruits, seeds, leaves, roots, bark, insects, very very small animals, and even the bird eggs, or eggs in general, and baby birds. The red tail squirrel is mainly arboreal, but will descend to the ground for food or if need be. Female red tail squirrels will make several nests throughout the forest, but they can only have two to three litters per year. And for every litter, there's at least two to three baby squirrels. The gestation period for a red tail squirrel is around two months. The baby squirrel, sometimes called kittens, are born hairless and with their eyes closed. And in around 14 days, will begin to grow fur. And within 30 to 32 days, their eyes will open. The baby squirrel will stay in the nest for around 6 weeks before they begin to adventure outside the nest and play around. And the average lifespan for a red tail squirrel is around 6 to 11 years. And male red tail squirrels are called box, female red tail, red tail squirrels are called does, and baby red tail squirrels are called pups, kits, or kittens. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something. As you all know, I'm the Wildlife Master. Like, share, follow, leave a comment. And until next time, peace out.